We're at Overland Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona, checking out all of the new Overland truck campers, off-road trailers, adventure vans, and expedition vehicles. <music> This has to be one of my all-time favorite vans. This is the Classic by Field Van, and it is built on a Ford cutaway chassis, and they actually build their own back end in-house to make it look like the old school Econoline vans, but this thing is set up to pretty much take you anywhere. It's awesome, and I need to get back inside and re-familiarize myself with it because we just love this thing. Okay, so here's what I love about it. This van can pretty much go anywhere with the 4x4 system that they put on it. It's got this crazy Atlas transfer case where you can just go front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, four wheel drive, whatever you want to do. The kitchen, simple. There's a nice sink, microwave, refrigerator. This couch has seat belts for passengers, but it also converts into a bed, so it lays down flat and it's actually very comfortable. Kate and I have spent a few nights in one of these and we absolutely love it. But there's also the penthouse. So one thing Field Van is known for are their pop tops. This has a canvas pop top that goes around. You get 360 views with all the windows. They're a screen, so you get a lot of nice airflow. But there's also a bed up here. So there's a platform that sits up here. You can sleep a couple kids if you wanted to, or just sleep up here and enjoy the view like you're in a tent. The front seat turns around and like I said, it's simple, but it'll get you pretty much anywhere you wanna go. Now the other thing with this van is there's actually a lot of storage in here. There's plenty of room in here. These cabinets go down. That's a closet, those sides slide open and they also go down as well. Plus there's storage below the rear of the bed. This van actually has a cool feature I haven't seen anywhere else. So this is a mid-roof Ford Transit with tri-level sleeping. Okay, so this bench seat will seat three. You've got two up front, so you can seat a total of five. This is the first level of sleeping. So this lays down. There's more platforms that go back there to complete a bed. You have your second level here. And since this is a mid-roof, you have a lot of headroom and another level up here. So three levels of sleeping for all five people that you're gonna bring along, or if you have extra friends following, you can throw them in here as well. The awesome thing about this being a mid-roof is, I can't even touch the ceiling in here. That's how much headroom there is. So this is a cool option if you have a big family or a lot of people you like to travel with. Okay, let's see what else we can find at the show. I like the way they set up this kitchen. You've got a silverware drawer, stove, cooler, sink, a whole knife set. Pretty nice organizer set up over there. Let's look inside. Oh, this is cool. There's a nice window just above where you would sleep. So at night you can look up and see the stars along with a bunch of cabinets for storage and 12 volt AC. This is pretty cool. I think if I was gonna go teardrop, this might be the ride. This Overland truck camper behind me is the Low-Key Base Camp. It's an all aluminum truck camper with a lot of cool features inside, and it looks different than most truck campers I've ever seen. This is pretty exciting. I wanna go in and check it out. They also make a fiberglass version, but they don't have that here on display today. Now, one thing I really like are the windows up there by the bed. I like being able to see out when you're sleeping. They've got it on uh, three sides around the bed, and that is a full-size queen up there. All right, I think my first favorite feature is this rear hatch with a door. So one thing I love about vans is at the back of a van, you can open the double doors and you can look out and see everything. With this hatch, you can do the same thing, but you still have a traditional door if you want to use it. 
Starting at the cab over, again, there's a queen size bed. You've got wraparound windows, sunroof slash kind of escape pod right here, a bench for seating or another sleeping area with a table. And the other nice thing is you can get another one of these platforms and set up a bed here for kids. Little storage cabinet on the side. They're also using the Red Arc. And on the driver's side, there's a nice size refrigerator up here and a small AC unit. Now what they did was they went to like big rig type AC units that they put in the cabs there and installed that here. So with the battery system, they can run that thing all night long. Has a sink. I love these latches. And they said the total weight for this is around 2,000 pounds and it fits in an eight foot bed. And in the eight foot model, this is considered kind of a mudroom. There's a little drain here, but there's also an attachment for a shower. So you could set up a curtain and take a shower here, or just if you're out surfing or that, you have a wetsuit, hang it up, let it drip dry in here and it'll go right out the drain. But I have to say again, this hatch is one of my favorite features. This is awesome in a truck camper. All right, sun's out, it's getting strong, so it's time to switch hats. Now that is what I call a rooftop deck. They've got hammocks up there, an umbrella. I mean, if you're gonna go overlanding, you might as well have a nice rooftop deck, right? We swung by Touring a couple months ago and they told us about this new truck camper they're building. Well, it's not done yet, but they're pretty far along and I have to say, so far I like what I see. So this is the Global X Patagonia. Up front, there's a pass-through into the cab. Cabinets, refrigerator, freezers. Full bathroom with a sink moving into the center of the vehicle you've got an oven induction stove top cabinets above the sink nice big window to look out while you're cooking there is a skylight that opens up along with an ac unit nice big work area here huge cabinets below and above and in the back You've got this large lounge here that also converts into a bed. Another window here with a hatch that opens out and another big window on this side. This thing is absolutely awesome. Well, I say we keep moving through the show and see what else we find, but I think everything else is gonna pale in comparison. Now, this is pretty cool. We're inside the Global X adventure truck and we've seen this particular truck at a number of shows and we've never been able to get inside before so i'm excited at this opportunity to come in and check it out and i just love the way they've laid it out it's much smaller than the patagonia we just saw but it has so many features that you could live in here full time and there's a nice big bed windows all around a nice kitchen setup there's a refrigerator microwave for when you need to work or eat there's a little dinette here at the front of the camper along with a pass-through into the cab of the truck. Nice ceiling height in here. I'm 5'11", so that kind of gives you some idea of how tall the ceiling is. But I think one of my favorite features in this you know, smaller camper is the big bathroom. So it's got a shower, toilet, sink, a window. I mean, what more do you need? This is really cool. I'm very excited to be in this truck and be able to check it out. I don't know, I could see myself in one of these. We're at the Storyteller Overland booth and this is their new 2022 Beast Mode. We got to take a Beast Mode around the US this summer with my mom and absolutely loved it, but they've made some significant improvements on the new 2022 models. First of which is actually on the exterior. Now this M Power Station is a cool new feature for 2022. It's on the Beast and the Stealth Mode. And the reason I think this is so cool is because the modes come with a 12 kilowatt battery system and now you can share that power with your friends when you're out camping because there's a 30 amp plug here 
that when your friends are camping with you, they can plug in if they need power. If you're at home somewhere else and you have a 30 amp plug and you can power something, it's now here so you can do that. Another great feature for 2022 is, this is the new Volta screen. With the on off button, you can see your state of charge, how much time you have remaining on the battery, the pack temp, and how much power is actually coming through so you can monitor your power usage, as well as this screen, which now controls everything in the storyteller mode. So you, here's your home screen. You can see some general things. There's a lighting screen where you can go in and change the brightness of the lights. There's chill mode. You can set presets and even go to the climate section. And here you can control everything in here with the vent, AC, and heat. I think these are fantastic because they get rid of a lot of the other switches that were here. This is a much cleaner setup and you can do more with it. So this is the Storyteller Mode LT on the Ford Transit platform. Now the interior of the Mode LT is pretty much identical to the other Storyteller Overland modes, with the exception of the fact that the control panels here are on the passenger side, whereas in the Mercedes vans, they're on the driver's side. Now one of the notable differences in the Transit is the Transit has a higher roof than the Mercedes does, which means you get more headroom in here, which is particularly important for taller people, but it also makes the van feel more open. The other difference is that the Transit has an all-wheel drive system with a gas motor as opposed to the diesel motor in the Mercedes. Now we're excited to get one of these Mode LTs on the road. But in the meantime, we have a full walkthrough on our YouTube channel, which we'll link to in this video or the description below. You know, another great feature about the modes is with the external outlet, you can even charge your e-bikes while you're camping. Now, another reason Storyteller is one of our favorite vendors is because they always bring breakfast burritos for everyone. So if you come by Storyteller in the morning, you'll get a burrito. These old scouts are cool. It's like brand new inside. Look at these old Land Cruisers. You know, I would actually love to get one of these and put a small pop-top camper in the back of one. I think this would be the ultimate, like small, lightweight Overland vehicle that you could take anywhere in the world because you can find parts for these things just about anywhere. I'm in love. What the King option does is allows you to sleep this way as opposed to east west as it's referred to. So the bed system, first of all, you have a big storage doors underneath the bed, right? But these doors serve a dual purpose. So they're part of bringing you out and away from the drop. Okay. So I lock in. Well, that's nice. And then you pull the whole drawer system out and brings the bed to the edge of the cabinetry. And then to get up into it, we have two steps that pull up. And so now you have access into the bed. Okay. So all of your mechanicals are very readily accessible. So all of your plumbing is manifolded into one location. Okay. So you have quick, easy access to it, and then all of your propane is manifolded also. Um, we're using the Dramatic combo. We have the small uh, max air and dome fan directly over where you really need to get coming out. We did all of our electronics with s -Bot. So we don't need to have fuses mm -hmm. because it's a self-healing electronic circuit breaker system.
and USB toll pull all the way around? Yes, all the way around. Uh, you have two automotive power ports at the front of the bed. Uh, there's a lot of people who sleep with CPAP machines, so we wanted to make sure that they had access to, to plug in power close to the bed. Then these here are double USB ports, so there's two ports per. Um, so, you know, charging your phone in the middle of the night, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then we put another double right over the, right under the table. And is this also going to be your shower basin? That's your shower pan. The curtain uh, has uh, Velcro tabs on it, and you just tab it onto the seat. Right, so that's the outlet there, then I presume. And that's the outlet, exactly. Now that is a cool camper. Really great use of space, and it's only 1,250 pounds all in with everything in there. So. Serious consideration if you're looking for a flatbed camper. With that said, that's it for the Overland Expo for us. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time. Bye.